Hey, it's Radical Dan. I don't know if you can see this, but it says like 56 degrees. That's what it is outside. <coughs> I'm going to show you something cool. I was working in a camper and I decided to try a project that I've seen online. People doing it. And it's a perfect opportunity. Because it is a little chilly out here, so I was like, okay, I got this stuff. Let me try it out and see what it does. So, what I did, now you can see that, it's like 61 in here, okay, and the reason is because of this right here, it's a little hot, anyway there's a candle inside of there, I got a big candle, let check this part and see, now the outside one's a little bit warm, the inside one is, uh, yeah, it's but really hot. Mexico, <clears throat> you can see I just took these little in, uh, terracotta pots. Let's see. Oh, Arizona. I see Arizona. You can see where the conversation's on the inside, but I set this ouch. It is hot. I set that one on it, and then I set this one on top. Illinois, Make like a dead airspace inside, and then I put this little thing to keep the air from popping out of it. And then it's been in here about probably about an hour. So and all it is is running off that one candle. And actually when I started it was 55 degrees in here. So it's come up 6 degrees, you know, in an hour with one candle. So I thought that was kind of cool. Because I've seen it online and I was like, oh, I wonder if that really works. I don't know. And apparently it does. So <laughs> I got my little fridge plugged in with my little uh, uh, kilowatt meter. Let me see what it says. Because <clears throat> I'm trying to debate whether to keep that one or put a small mini fridge in it. Because I'm trying to cut down power consumption. So I've got it plugged in. And I don't know if you can see that. 125 watts. 1.11 amps. 60 hertz. 127 volts. 125 watts so that's what it's pulling <clears throat> so I think I'll just go ahead and keep it in there because uh, I'm getting ready to put my solar some solar panels on the roof right here I'm gonna put a frame here and slats down the middle and I'm gonna put three of my 32 watt solar panels up here to make 96 and then I'll pipe that down inside <clears throat> <coughs> And uh, I can run a 400 watt inverter inside the camper. I found these in the house. That's so kind of ugly colors for curtains, but it might work. I don't know. But if I look in here, <clears throat> inside here, I'll bring the wires from the solar panels inside here, and I'll run this charge controller because so it'll hold up to 100 watts. So that's perfectly safe for that. And I'll dump like two or three car batteries in here. And that's 400 watt inverter. And then I can run lights and a little refrigerator and radio, you know, and whatever, whatever else has to be run. You know, I mean, not anything big. You're not going to run a microwave or anything like that in here. But you know, other than that. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't know if it worked or not, and I guess it does. I mean, it's not like a big heater here, but, you know, and the windows are closed. There ain't no curtains up. You know, there's only insulation on the walls at the end, so it's not really super insulated. So, yeah. So that's what I, yeah, and dropped down to 60 because I had the door open. Well, once I put curtains up, it'll probably be even better. I don't know. But yeah, that was a cool idea. So, yeah, that's what I got. So, if you guys want to try that, it's, it really does work. You know, and you can, I don't have a, uh... oh, wait, yeah, dude, let me see if I can check this out. Hold on, I just got this the other day. It might, it might help. I didn't think about it. I don't know, it's kind of. Kind of a haphazard video, <laughs> whatever, but I didn't feel like coming out today. This is definitely not my weather. I know it's getting worse, so let me see what the, uh, oh yeah, there's the baseball bats. Here it is. Got a temperature gun, or a laser thermometer. 
Maybe I can see what the, uh, the little uh, pot candle heater, I'll see what each layer, what the temperature of each layer is. So I hope it doesn't run too long. I know a lot of people get bored, but. All right. Let's go on the outside pot. Uh, 95, 94, 94 degrees. Okay, let's take that off and check the you know what? It'll yeah, probably be a lot higher. I can feel the temperature difference itself. So. Oh yeah. See, 123, 112, 115, 114. And that's from one candle. The country. It's in Florida. Darker spots. 133, 134. Max. This is 135 degrees from a candle. Isn't that awesome? And that right there. Raise the temperature in here, like I said, five degrees over about an hour. And it's a candle. I mean, come on, I got tons of candles. I got like 150 pounds of candles. I got these. If that one burns out, I got more here. I got a bunch of them in the garage. So I pick them up at Goodwill for like 59 cents a pound. <laughs> you can't beat that, right? <laughs> All right. That's what I got. That's my uh, update. So, see ya.